We finally got daily quests in Escape from Tarkov, so-called operational tasks, and they are very special because they are unique to your account. Everything you need to know about operational tasks in Escape from Tarkov is the topic of today's video. Let's go. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here, and with patch 12.11.6 we received the daily quests, so-called operational tasks, and as I've mentioned earlier, they are unique quests, fully generated, personal to your account. Let me give you an example. I got one quest from Prepper, one daily mission, one daily mission from Mechanic, and one from Ragman. For example, my mate Ola Brolo, he has two from Jaeger and one from Skier, and they are completely different, but these quests are related to the specialization, or let's say inventory, of each trader. For, for Jaeger, you have to collect some food, or drinks, so you get my point. And you have three different types of daily quests. The first one is elimination. You have to kill a certain amount of scavs or PMC over different uh, distances, under or over 30, 50 meter, or several maps like on every map or shoreline, for example, or whatever map we got in Tarkov. The next one is simple survive. You have to survive one, two, five, whatever um, amount of raids, on in general different maps you get my point pretty easy pretty simple and the next one is collect like you have to find and bring some found rate or you can craft it but the item has to be found red so it's pretty simple to understand what you have to do and of course these are daily missions so you have 24 hours time to complete those quests and also very important the higher your level are the let's say more difficult these daily quests can be but you also have the chance to roll a very easy daily mission even if you are a high level player so it's pretty understandable and it's very interesting especially during the first 10 to 11 15 levels of your character the quests are pretty easy so the daily missions are very very interesting after the fresh wipe or let's say during the the fresh wipe phase in Tarkov and Nikita also mentioned this is the tier one phase of these operational tasks so they have to figure out how to balance them um, the rewards the xp what you have to do and all of that and on top of that after this wipe so next wipe and in the future of Tarkov the quest will get more specific more in detail more in depth so pretty pretty interesting and even right now you don't have like the same five quests over and over again they are fully generated, of course, you have to bring uh, specific food, sometimes eats to find, to Jaeger or some attachments to Skier. So, of course, they are basically the same in, in, in uh, how the quest works, of course, they're just daily quests, but they are different uh, every time. So, these quests can help, like, casual players if you don't have that much time or if you cannot spend every spare time in Tarkov, like you only have the, your weekend, you have some additional boosts to improve your your uh, journey in Escape from Tarkov, especially if you are a fresh character, these daily missions can help you a lot. And it's very good, I think it's a, 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 another step to keep us active in Tarkov. And Nikita also mentioned weekly quests or weekly tasks, but I will uh, make a summary about the last podcast tomorrow. So. Don't forget to subscribe and as always I'm interested in your opinion about daily missions in Escape from Tarkov. What do you think about it? I'm as again very very interested in your comments so don't forget to comment into the comment section below and as always we Germans want to win at least something. It's very important for us so don't forget to like this video it really helps. Stay safe and see you in the next video guys.